okay. Many people who don't like the snow are still rejoicing with all this warm weather, but there are others who aren't welcoming the weather. Investigator Jonathan Walsh now joins us live in downtown Cleveland. Hey, John, it's, you know, it's officially winter there, but no need to uh, warm the old hands up. What do you got? Oh, man, I am freezing out here as these temperatures reach a bone-chilling 63 degrees. I don't know how anybody is surviving out here. Snow somehow has managed to melt as it, as it makes its way down to the ground, otherwise known as rain. But I am ready, just in case, with my snowblower right here, right? But just in case uh, as well, I think I'm going to need more of this. Because the weather has been much, much different than what we're used to, some shops that sell snowblowers and fix snowblowers tell us it's been pretty slow recently anyway. Last week when some of us had a bit of snow, there was a glimmer of hope, but of course the 40, 50, 60 degree weather dashed those hopes for businesses relying on old man winter. Marshall Power Equipment in Lyndhurst talked to me today about what it's been like. They told me a bunch of people stopped by earlier in the fall, snatching up their snowblowers in anticipation of winter hitting us pretty hard. But now the days seem a little unusual at the shop. We still have a, a bit in stock more than we'd like to. Um, on the other hand, we also haven't had a first major snow. Last major snowfall, or last year when we had the first major snowfall, we sold, I want to say, 70, 80 units in a 48 hour time period. Well, the good news is for all the businesses who really want the snow, it will be coming. And I am ready, of course, in this outfit, but I got to tell you, I gotta get inside and get some air conditioning. Whew, it's hot out here. I'm investigator Jonathan Walsh for the now. Looks like Randy from a Christmas story there. At least he can put his arms down. All right, look.